Hey, what's going on, Aaron? I hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out this app right here called Chili, all right? And maybe you're wondering, you know, is this a good app? Can you really just watch videos and make money from this app? Let's check it all out. Let's find out if it's a scam, whether this is real, right? Anytime if you want to find out my favorite way to get to $10,000 a month or more 100% from home, just click the link all the way below and I'll share with you my favorite strategy. Now on this channel, I have reviewed literally hundreds and hundreds of different ways to make money online. Some of them are really good, some of them are so-so. Some of them though, a lot, uh, you know, big waste of time, okay? So let's find out, you know, whether Chili is a good use, use of your time or maybe there are better ways to make money online out there, right? Now Chili is a very interesting app, okay? So you can basically download it right here from the Google Play Store. Five million plus downloads. A lot of people have installed this. Uh, this is just on the Android, okay? On iOS, there's, you know, a lot as well. And essentially, when you download it, it's going to look like this. And it's, you know, it's a little bit like TikTok. You can basically just scroll up and watch different videos, right? And the way it works is, if you click on the watch button on the bottom left-hand corner right there, um, you'll basically be able to watch different videos and as you watch the video, you'll see these little coins being added to your total amount of coins, right? Now, that doesn't mean you're making money, but the more videos you watch, the more chances you have of these boxes popping up on your screen to allow you to click on it and it gives you a random amount of money, all right? So the more videos you watch, then you'll see you know a box pop up, you click on the box and it, you might make 10 cents, you know, later on, maybe um, you know 15 minutes later, if you keep watching videos and you have to keep scrolling, you can't just leave it. It's not like YouTube, right? If, if once a video finishes, you have to scroll up, otherwise it doesn't count. And then uh, you might find another box and it might give you 20 cents. And then you just sort of keep doing that and the money starts to add up, all right? Now here's the interesting thing about this app is that um, you can't just keep doing this forever and then withdraw. What will happen is this, this app is all based around you, know, you buying their glasses. Okay, so they've got a different, you know, style of glasses every time. They've got aviators, they've got, uh, you know, sports sunglasses and things like that. And eventually, when you're brand new, the glasses that you're watching will break. Okay, so every single pair of glasses that you have has an endurance period. So sometimes it lasts a day, sometimes it might last a week, all right? And um, they have a market. So if you, if you go right to the bottom, you can click on market and you can buy different glasses. And they've got glasses that cost all the way from $6 all the way up to over $200 per glasses. Now, the funny thing about this app is that there are a lot of question marks, okay? They're not super clear on exactly how it works. So for example, if you upgrade to a more expensive pair of glasses, it doesn't tell you how much more money you're gonna make, and it also doesn't tell you how long those glasses are gonna last. So you don't know if it's gonna last an extra week, is it gonna last an extra month before they break and you have to buy a new pair? So there are just a lot of question marks, right? And so, um, that's you know one of the big problems I think with this particular app is that there's just too many question marks. You don't really know how the system really works, and they don't actually you know tell you either. All right. Now here's the other thing: when you finally want to withdraw, and this is a really tricky part about it, right? Is that let's just say you have you know here it says four hundred and ninety three dollars, but you know it will never you will never make that much money. It, it you make a very small amount of money on this app. It's literally like you know. Uh, a few dollars maybe a, a week, okay, if you just keep watching it. What will happen is if you want to withdraw, you have to buy a pair of glasses before you withdraw. So they don't tell you that. So you could be playing on the app for free for a little while, let's just say, you know, a few days, and maybe you've got a couple of dollars on there, and when you want to withdraw, you can't withdraw until you buy a pair of glasses from their marketplace, so very tricky. Okay, so then you go and buy a pair of glasses, you know, the, the cheapest one is six bucks, okay? And then you wanna withdraw your money, they charge a 30% withdrawal free fee in order for you to get those glasses. Now that is weird, all right? Any company that will charge you that much of a fee to withdraw, for me that's a little bit of a red flag because I have reviewed so many of these types of apps, okay? Uh, whether it's you know watching videos or doing surveys or playing games and things like that, they never charge you an actual withdrawal fee. A lot of the time, the fee is coming from PayPal um, because PayPal is an external uh, you know, banking system, right? That, uh, or, or you know, financial system that allows you to withdraw money. So they might charge you a fee, but usually the platform allows you to withdraw for free. But for Chili, the Chili app, they charge you a 30% fee, so they're obviously making a lot of money from just you withdrawing, okay, which I think is a bit dodgy, that's a bit weird, right? So, okay, you, so two things that are dodgy, their fee is extremely high, and also 
they don't tell you that you have to buy a pair of glasses before you withdraw. So that means you have to spend money to withdraw the money that you make. Also a bit dodgy right there, right? And here's another thing, okay? Uh, a big way that they also make money and they promote this for you to make money is you can refer people, okay? So that means you can promote this app to different people and when they join, they can basically buy different levels of glasses, okay? So they can buy a, a pair of glasses for you know, $6, they can buy one for $10, they can buy one for $100 and you make a commission based on what level of glasses that they buy. Okay, so that's why on YouTube, you see a lot of people talking about how you can make a lot of money from this app because they're talking specifically about you referring the app to other people, all right? But there's a big problem with that. They don't actually tell you how long the glasses last and how much money you can make if you upgrade to a more expensive pair of glasses, right? So there's a lot of, you know, really weird stuff going on and it's very unclear, this app, right? So it's like, well, do you make a lot of money from just watching the videos or are most people making money from referring the app and then you have to buy a pair of glasses in order to withdraw your money and then they charge a 30% fee to withdraw your money anyway. So it's a bit weird, right? So I think that this, this app right here, you know, there's just too many question marks. Um, you know, for you to actually make money. And if you if you read the reviews, that's basically what people are, you know, are basically commenting about, right? So let's just go through a few of the reviews, okay? Um, look at this, okay, so Salvador says, it somewhat does reward you for watching content. However, you will still have to purchase some glasses out of your pocket to keep earning. And to make the purchase is just complicated. I still have not been able to figure it out and I've tried with every currency option. I still haven't received any useful help from the customer service, okay? So not very good right there, right? Jimmy says, yeah, feels a bit hacky. They say starter glasses can earn $10 per week before breaking. The rewards are pretty far from that considering the five minute daily viewing time could exploit the recharge to get more watch time which takes five hours of recovery per minute of watch time but the glasses just break faster i won't even earn six dollars a week that margin of error is too far too wide for the glasses which are expensive um i'm not a believer in this system okay so there you go right so again it feels like there, there's just way too many question marks and um, it kind of promotes people to buy the glasses but you don't really know if you'll earn enough money back from watching the videos before your glasses break because they're not clear, right? And people have actually said stuff like that, right? Look at this. I'm extremely disappointed with the Chili app. I thought it was a great platform with nice features and coin rewards. Um, however, the withdrawal process is a major letdown. The 30% app fee and additional Binance purchase requirements are extremely high and unaffordable, right? I'm frustrated because I feel like I'm being charged too much to access my own earnings, 100%. Until the reconsider and adjust the fees, I won't recommend Chili to anyone, right? And then we'll just read this one last review. Don't waste your money. The app is like snake dangling apples in front of you while curling itself around you. When you try and leave with the apples, it shows its true colors. To try it, I sent $8 to the app and purchased $6 in glasses. In six days, I made $10. When I tried to withdraw, I was charged 85% of an app fee, which is about you know 50 cents, 50 cents as BSC fees. It did not end there. I tried to withdraw my personal $2 that I did not use, and I was once again charged a fee on my personal funds. So there you go, right? It's a little bit dodgy, I think. I think the whole idea here is to get people to buy glasses which are very expensive but then their withdrawal fees are very high they don't pay you enough money to actually watch the videos right and then before the glasses break so people kind of they're on like a treadmill right they keep referring people they make a little bit of money they watch the videos they have to buy more glasses which i think is how they make majority of money and then they don't really pay you that much money to actually watch the videos so too much dodginess going on very unclear I think that if you're here to make money online, Chili is, you know, it might be a fun way to, you know, gamify the watching experience, but are you really making profit from this? It, I don't think so, right? And I think there's just too many question marks here, the fees are too high for it to be a good way for anybody to make a significant amount of money. So for that reason, I can't recommend it. I think you probably should not be using the Chili app. There are better apps out there where you can make real money, they're less complicated. Um, and it's just simpler, if that makes sense, okay? So Chili, that's my review of Chili. If you wanna check it out though, you can just go to the Google Play Store and you can check it out if you want. Just type out Chili and you'll find it's actually a pretty popular app, all right? Now, if you're here watching this video right now, maybe you are looking for a, a, way, a real legitimate way to make big money, right? Now on this channel, 
I have reviewed hundreds and hundreds of make money online strategies and I've literally tried and tested out the good, the bad and the ugly. Okay, now <clears throat> out of all the good strategies, there's one strategy that, that I personally use to quit my full time job in April 2019. I five times my old corporate salary and I haven't worked since 2019, right? Um, and I think this is one of the best ways for a beginner to make money online, especially if you've never made any money online before. If you want to check it out, I've got a free masterclass that shows you how I did it step by step. Click the link all the way at the bottom. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed this review of Chili. I will see you on another video review. Take care.